Hey guys, my name is Marcus, and welcome to this mini episode of Planet Marcus. <laughs> Today, we're talking about something super cool, a solar eclipse. And the reason why we're talking about it is because there's one happening this year. So mark your calendars for April 8th, 2024. It's not just any eclipse. It's the last solar eclipse we'll see from our neck of the woods until 2044, so you don't want to miss out. So what exactly is a solar eclipse? Well, imagine you're having a sunny day and suddenly the moon decides to photobomb the sun. That's right, a solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, casting a shadow on our planet. The path directly under the shadow of the moon as it moves across the earth is called the path of totality. If you're anywhere along this path, you'll get to see the sun fully blocked out by the moon. There are four different types of solar eclipses. It's pretty cool, so let me tell you about them. First, there's the total solar eclipse, which occurs when the moon completely blocks out the face of the sun. People standing in the shadow of the moon get to see the sky go dark, like it's turning into nighttime during the day. And guess what? You can even see the sun's outer atmosphere, called the corona, which is usually hidden by the brightness of the sun. Next up is the annular solar eclipse. This is like what happened in October 2023. Here, the moon also gets in between the sun and the earth, but this time it's further away from us. So instead of totally covering the sun, it leaves a bright ring around the dark moon. It's like a fiery ring in the sky. You'll need special eclipse glasses to watch this one safely. We'll talk more about that later. Depending on your location, you might witness a partial solar eclipse. This occurs when you're outside the region covered by the moon during both solar and annular eclipses. You'll notice part of the sun covered, forming a crescent shape. Lastly, there's the hybrid solar eclipse. This one's a bit tricky. Because the Earth is round, sometimes an eclipse can switch between being total and annular as it moves across the sky. The next one of these is going to happen in 2031. So keep your eyes on the sky for that one. Now back in the day, people had some wild ideas about eclipses. Some thought they were angry gods gobbling up the sun, while others saw them as cosmic battles between light and dark. There's even a tale of two ancient armies, the Lydians and the Medes, who called a truce during an eclipse because they thought it was a sign from the heavens. I just think they're really cool. By the way, did you know that eclipses can influence the weather? When the sun and the moon align, it can cause changes in atmospheric pressure, cooling the air and shifting the wind. That's why temperatures dip by an average of 10 degrees Fahrenheit during an eclipse. In the ocean, there might be slight changes in temperature and currents due to the eclipse's impact on tides and gravity. However, these effects are short-lived, and conditions return to normal once the eclipse is over. If you're planning to catch this epic event, safety is key. You'll need special glasses like these to shield your eyes from the sun's powerful rays. Without these special glasses, you can get serious permanent eye damage. So you need to be very careful. It is only safe to take off these glasses during totality, when the sun is completely blocked by the moon. And hey, don't forget about your telescopes or camera lenses. They need protection too. So you'll need to get special filters for them. Now, if you're in North America, you'll most likely catch a glimpse of the partial solar eclipse. But to see the big show where the moon totally covers the sun, as I mentioned before, you'll have to be in the path of totality that stretches from Texas to Maine in the United States. So if you want the full eclipse experience, plan ahead and try to get to a location along the path of totality. Here's a clip from NASA's website explaining it in more detail. their map, the path for the total eclipse appears as a dark band across North America. Anyone located in this path will have a chance to see the total eclipse on April 8, 2024. Inside the dark path are oval shapes with times listed. 
People inside each oval will see the total eclipse at that time. The white lines inside the path indicate how long totality will last. Outside the path, purple lines indicate how much of the sun will become covered by the moon during the partial eclipse. These lines extend to the edges of the map where percentages for the partial eclipse can be found. A globe shows the full eclipse path, and shaded bands show where a partial eclipse can be seen. And if you live near me in Allegheny, New York, and you're wondering where the best viewing location is, well, you're in luck, because Allegheny is just on the edge of the path of totality for this eclipse. So you'll be able to see it from your own backyard. You'll just need to make sure you have a clear view of the sky and maybe a blanket to sit on. Of course, there are lots of groups and organizations arranging viewing opportunities. So you can check online for more information about what's happening in your area. And there you go. With this information, you should be all set for the big day. And that's all for this mini episode. Thanks for watching, and remember to keep exploring, stay curious, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you later. Bye, guys.